respected elders we've come from allah and to allah we all have to return walladhi dharakum fil ardi wa ilayhi tuhsharun allah is the one who spread who has spread you out in different parts of the world but you all will be raised in his presence we will all will be raised back to allah when a person is about to die and angels come to take away his soul Uh, if he's been a good person, the angels they say, Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'inna, O you content soul, irji'i ila rabbik, uh, return to your Lord, radiyatan mardiyya, happily in a manner that Allah will please you as well. Radiyatan mardiyya, you will be happy with Allah in that meeting and Allah will be happy with you. And when the person, a good person, whose nafs has become mutma'inna, most people their nafs are nafs lawama, and some people their nafs has become nafs ammara, and they then give so much importance and preference to their nafs that they literally make their nafs, their desires, their emotions, their lust, their gods. Allah says, "Araita man ittakhada ilaha hu hawa." Have you not seen that person who has made his desires his God? In another place, Allah says, "Afaraita man ittakhada ilaha hu hawa hu wa adallahu Allahu ala ilm." And a person who makes his desires his God, then in spite of having knowledge, then Allah misleads that person. That his knowledge does not do him any good and does not benefit him and does not save him from being misguided. Because his nafs is so corrupt, and that his nafs then gets the better of him. Uh, so people with the nafs amara, some people with the nafs lawama, la uksimu bi yom al qiyamati, wa la uksimu bi nafs lawama. Ayhasab al insan al najma wa idama. Does a man think that Allah will not gather him again? When a person is, dies, people pray janaza over him and they take him and they bury him and people think that their bones rot away in their graves. Uh, as someone came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam carrying an old bone once and he put the old bone in between his hands and he rubbed his, that old bone and it crumbled into dust and then he blew it and then he said, Oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, do you think that your Lord will raise this up again? Allah says, وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقًا قَالَ مَنْ يُحْيِي الْعِظَامَ وَهِيَ الرَّمِيمٌ And look at this man, how he compares me. Allah says, and look at the example that he's given for me. He thinks, and he thinks I can't raise him again, and he's forgotten how he was created, how I made him. وَنَسِيَ خَلْقًا قَالَ مَنْ يُحْيِي الْعِظَامَ وَهِيَ الرَّمِيمٌ Allah says, قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّ Tell him, tell him, let him know uh, that the Lord who created him the first time, يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةِ وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ خَلْقٍ عَلِيمٍ He is well aware of what he's created and he is able to gather people again and raise people again. بَلْ هُوَ الْخَلَّاقُ الْعَلِيمِ He is such a powerful creator. إِنَّ مَا مُرُوا إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيَّنَا يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Uh, when he wants something to be, he simply says, be, and it's done. فَسُبْحَانَ الَّذِي بِيَدْهِ مَلَكُوتُ كُلِّ شَيْءٌ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ How glorious he is, in whose control is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and all affairs. And to him you all have to return. And these are the final verses of Surah Yaseen. Allahu Akbar. So I was saying, we all belong to Allah. Uh, whether people be from Asia, from Africa, whatever nationality, uh, whatever color, whatever background, whatever status. Ya yuhanna so inna khlaqna kum min zakari wa untha wa jahalna kum shu'uban wa qabaila li ta'arafu. Oh you people, uh, we made you from one man and one woman. Uh, and Allahu Akbar. And Allah has made us in different clans and families and nations. And we speak different languages so we can get along with one another. 
Allahu Akbar. And we can associate ourselves with one another. Uh, but inna akramakum indallah yatqaakum. And the man closer to Allah and honorable in the eyes of Allah is the one who has the most taqwa. You will all be gathered in front of your Lord. Many a people, subhanallah, how they live. It's not haram for a Muslim to have a good life. Qul man harrama zinat Allah. Allah, Allah says, tell them who has made it unlawful for people to, to enjoy the goodness of this life. Qul man harrama zinat Allah illati akhraja li ibadihi wa tayyibati min al-rizq. Qul hiya lilladhin amanu fi al-hayati al-dunya khalisatan yawm al-qiyama. It's the because of the people of Iman that everybody gets what they get. It's because of one person who believes in Allah. لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقال في الأرض الله الله. As long as there are people who just know the name of Allah in this world, the world will not end. The sun will continue to shine and rise from the east, set in the west. The stars will twinkle and glow, and the winds will blow and the rivers will flow, and the trees and the plants will grow. But Allah Akbar, when there is not a single man left to chant the name of Allah. Doesn't matter how advanced the technology may become. Uh, doesn't matter how high the buildings will rise. Uh, doesn't matter how much people will advance. Uh, but Allah will say to Israfil, Israfil, you blow. And then, وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي السُّورِ فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ uh, When Israfil will blow, Allahu Akbar. And then, إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَتَرَتْ إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَذَرَتْ The Prophet ﷺ said, If you want to know what that day of Qiyamah will be like, then read these three surahs. إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَتَرَتْ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ Allahu Akbar. When the sky will fall and will split. وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجِّرَتْ When the oceans will be set on fire. How do oceans, how do oceans burn? Allahu Akbar. Have you ever tried to pour water on, some, on burning coal, something very hot? What happens? It turns to steam. Uh, the scientists, they say the core of the earth is so hot, full of lava. And so when there's a severe earthquake, when there's a tsunami or something, and the plates holding the oceans and the earth, when they tilt slightly or they move, it causes tsunamis and earthquakes. Uh, so when a little bit of movement causes so much havoc, إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا Allah Akbar When the earth will be shaken as much as it can be shaken. Allah Akbar When not just plates will, will slip over one another, when they will come apart. Allah, all that water, uh, when it pours down into the core and the oceans become steam. Allah Akbar And this, this, is, uh, this is possible scientifically. Uh, scientifically, uh, but the Quran said 1400 years ago, wa when the oceans will be set on fire. How? Ida zulzilatil ardu zilzalaha. When the earth is shaken as much as it can be shaken, and it will split and tear and cracks will appear everywhere. Allahu Akbar. Then you can imagine what it will be like. Wa inna lajailuna ma alayha saeed and juruza. Uh, when it will all become, will all be flattened. Uh, Allahu Akbar, Allah Qadir, Allah Qadir, Allah Qadir. Kullu man alayha faan wa yabqa wajhu rabbika dhil jalali wal ikram. Everything is destined to perish. Uh, he is the only one who will remain. Huwa al-awwal wa al-akhir wa al-zahir wa al-batin wa huwa bi kulli shayin alim. The worst day for shaitan ever was the day of Badr. And that is when he saw, when he came with his own, his own army to help the mushrikeen of Mecca against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and sahaba. But Allah sent Jibreel. إِذْ يُوحِي رَبُّكَ إِلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَنِّي مَعَكُمْ Allah sent the angels, Jibreel, commander-in-chief of the angels. Oh Jibreel, you take an army, you go. I am with you as well. أَنِّي مَعَكُمْ Allah says, I am with you, you go. فَثَبِّتُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا and make the believers firm. سَأُلْقِي فِي قُلُوبِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الرَّعْبَ Allah says, I will fill the hearts of my of the enemies uh, with awe. Uh, they will become afraid. And then what you do? فَضْرِبُوا فَوْقَ الْأَعْنَاقِ وَضْرِبُوا مِنُمْ كُلَّ بَنَانِ And then whip them. Uh, whip them and lash them. 
are on their necks. As Sahaba say many a times, they would raise their sword to behead a, a kafir, but before his, his sword would come near, his head would fall down. Because the angels would, would whip them and lash them. And Sahaba said, we knew who was killed from us, and who was killed by the angels, because who was killed by the angels, Allahu Akbar, their necks had a severe lash, severe bruise, so we knew the angels had killed. Abbas radiallahu anhu, he was quite tall. The Prophet's uncle, who later became a Muslim in Badr, he came with the kuffar. And then he was captured by a sahabi, who tied his hands and brought him to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and said, Ya Rasulullah, I captured him. And it is stated, Abbas said, he didn't capture me. He, he pointed to him, this small man, he captured me. It was somebody else, enormous man who captured me. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allah sent the angels. And that was the day when, when Iblis saw Jibreel alayhi salam coming down with the angels. Then he did a runner. Then he did a runner. And Jannat, Allahu Akbar, is closer than you think. Jannat is one step away. One step. But that one step is a mega step. Uh, if a person can learn to put his foot, a step on his nafs, this next step is Jannah. Uh, but stepping on the nafs, you think it's easy? You think nafs gives in so easy? Nafs doesn't give in so easy. Uh, nafs, nafs puts up a good fight throughout a person's life. Allahu Akbar, may Allah save us. Mm.